the 10 o'clock regular scheduling meeting of the Board of Island County Commissioners. Commissioner Emerson is at the Washington Policy Council, I believe, this morning and won't be joining us. So would you please all rise and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So the first part of our meeting is public input or in comments. We have time set aside uh, for public input. If uh, folks would like to address the board, please come on up and um, if you could state your name and keep your comments brief. Alrighty. Uh, well, greetings, uh, Board of Island County Commissioners. Once again, I'm before you and uh, asking you to stand up for the citizens of Island County and not for the Navy or the Oak Harbor Navy League. <laughs> we ask you to stand up, asking you to stand up for the citizens of Island County and not for the Navy or the Oak Harbor Navy League. <laughs> we ask you to stand up for the citizens that reside here in the county, as that. Um, with this APZ zoning, as you've been aware, made very aware of it, that uh, it has made a lot of undue hardship to a lot of the families on the north end of Island County. And with not uh, putting that same type of zoning around the OLF field. And we would like that either put back onto the 2013 docket or repeal it in full. Uh, and have the citizens have their way in on it since they had no say in that. Um, Is there anyone else that wishes to address the board this morning? Yes, come on up. Good morning! Broward Joe Kunzler here from Skatchatonia. I just said there one of those Oak Harbor Navy Leaguers driving Garrett Newkirk nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, sadly, I'm one of those um, few Oak Harbor Navy Leaguers who is willing and desiring to go on offense and push back against the misinformation, lies, and rejection we see here. Um, I want to be very clear. When issues discussed in this room affect NAS Woodby Island, there are national impacts, and as somebody who not just recruits other fans to visit Woodby Island due to grower noise, but as a taxpayer of federal, state, and state taxes, I have a right to a say. I am here because in the past two months, public statements have been made alleging that the NAS Woodby Island is a polluter and worse. That's a tough sell to this Navy leaguer who knows more about the Navy's environmental preservation efforts than the operations of my own local Navy League Council. Uh, that's a tough sell to this Navy leaguer who appreciates Commissioner Helen Price Johnson uh, going on public record, and I'm paraphrasing, a a where an EIS for the growers equals studying problems instead of solving problems. I also understand Commissioner Johnson wants to increase noise disclosures this year. Good. I think if you live next to an airfield, no matter it's at Lake Union or Perth, Australia or Anacortes or OLF Coopville, you are going to get hit with airplane noise. It's that simple. I want to reiterate, though, that if there are individuals like Garrett Newkirk and others who have inherited grower noise from the days of Hellcat and Dauntless propeller noise... They should have the right to eminent domain or uh, noise proofing at no cost to, to the local citizens. We need to be humane, the free thousand, dirty free counties of America, to Island County in regards to our NAS would be Island that benefits not just America but Island County as well. I also want to make very clear that I am just an individual Navy leaguer, but if APZs are put on the 2013 docket, I will push up my chain of command a request to support full APCs around OLF Coopville, I don't think that's going to go over very well with some people. I do want to clear up some, I do want to add some facts to a dialogue about NES would be Island. I want to quote for some of the research that your staff has kindly helped me with. I would name them, but I'm concerned they'd be retaliated against. 
Uh, but uh, I, am an, I, I understand that NES Woodby Island, quote, contributes $500 million directly to the local economy, end quote, and, quote, the total impacts in terms of labor earnings sum to uh, $674 million within Island County, approximately 88% of wage disbursements in the county, end of parenthesis, quotes, that's from a 2005 A AICUZ update that's up on growernoise.com, as well as my delivery notes with hyperlinks to sources. Um, I don't. I think people who want to close on yes would be need to figure out where 88 percent of the wages come from, and then try to figure out how you're going to replace that to pay for the mass transit, to pay for the first responders, to pay for all the other public services we all enjoy. I also want to stress that the EA 18G Growler was only intended for NAS Woodby Island. And the Super Hornets, they are based on remain at NAS Oceana and NAS Wimore. They've never been relocated due to noise complaints, and I've seen no documentation from the progressive agitators. Furthermore, the Poseidons will not be providing that Growler funder, and trust me, I know what I speak of because I was just there at the OLF last Friday. Uh, about 525 feet away, and it was thunder. My kind of thunder. But we're not going to see it out of the Poseidons to use commercial and noise engines. They don't use the OLF. They're mainly replacement aircraft. I really don't appreciate the misinformation from some people. And if you end up on some trash list, well, just tell the truth about the Navy and respect the sailors. I also, while on that subject, want to advocate for a traffic light and or roundabout a Banta Road and Highway 20. Uh, I've noticed at the end of a duty day, many heroic sailors are waiting five to ten minutes to get on uh, State Highway while off shift. Um, your public works respectfully needs to look into this and fix this. And as far as to the final phase of my remarks, being a Navy Leaguer is so much what you make of the opportunities before you in Navy League. It's like the Boy Scouts, except uh, there's no bigotry like was back then towards disabled people or now towards homosexuals. And I'm a very heredual sexual male, and I think if you're around gays, it doesn't make you gay. <laughs> But uh, Navy leaguers don't have time to be of a joke of bigots when we're busy protecting femme fatale naval aviators and alpha male mechanics from progressive agitators who just fly out and need to change their tone of behavior. Navy leaguers do have the time, if we choose to invest, to show our love of country and, and gratitude for our military from things large like growernoise.com to things small like just going over to the officer's lunchroom and saying thank you for all you do to protect our family. Oh, and thanks for the jet noises and nice touch, too. It's the least I can do is show gratitude and serve those who do serve. However, with the threat of the cancellation of Route 411W out there, my participation in Oak Harbor Navy League may come to a tragic end in June. Furthermore, the cancellation of county connector routes will conclusively put at risk the quality of life metric around NAS Woodby Island plus the general economy of Woodby Island, because so many cannot find jobs in Woodby Island but want to live here, like yours truly. I want to live here. I want the grower noise, et cetera, et cetera. But there's no jobs. Are you uh, finishing up? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Not a problem. I'm, I know I'm pushing the envelope. Um, but uh, I want to stress to you that I, I'm open to solutions to saving 411W where it's lobbying for vote of the people on a new tax, or... Uh, thinning out the frequency of the runs, because I think we Scatatonians have a special relationship with Woodby Island. I hope that relationship with a hub of NES Woodby Island can continue. However, that means a strong Navy League, a respectful tone to the sailors of NES Woodby Island, and elected officials who respect that 88% of wage disbursements in Island County come from NASWI, and I thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. You're quite welcome. Mm -hmm. Joseph, we appreciate your comments. In the future, you need to direct them just to the commissioners and not address audience members. Uh, okay. Okay.
Are there um, others who I want to follow up on a couple of the comments that were made today. The um, Banta Road is on the list for our public works. Um, it is it, 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 the list that we it because it is an intersection with a state highway. It's one of those places where we um, need to coordinate with the state highways uh, group, and and it is on a list of uh, intersections that are of high priority to be addressed. Um, I also wanted to let um, Mr. Kunzler know that the Tri-County Connector is funded through a state grant from the Department of Transportation and that there is consideration of adding that into the transportation budget. So if you feel that that's an important uh, regional connector, as you stated, I would urge you to contact your legislators and let them know that. I agree. I think it's important for the flow and, uh, and for our regional economy. Let's see.